Thank you for joining me again this week. Now, in last week's program, you have already learned how to determine your auspicious and inauspicious directions. And we do that by finding out what's your life qua. Now, in case you have forgotten about last week's um, details, log on to my website, joeyyard.com, and then you can download some of the notes for last week's program. Now, it's very important that you catch up with this program so you know exactly what your auspicious and inauspicious directions are. Because this week, we're going to learn how we can apply the feng shui to your house. And in order to do that, I will introduce you to the second portion of eight mansions. You see, in eight mansions, eight mansions is a system that has basically two parts. The first part you have done last week, it's called the house, the life gua system. The first part is called life gua system. That is based on your date of birth to determine what is your personal gua. Inside your personal gua, you have your good directions and bad directions and so forth. Well, in this week's program, we're going to talk about the house gua. You see, in every house, they have their own gua as well. So, you got to determine which areas of the house is good. Surely, you, if you've done last week's program, you'll be, you'll be thinking about, hey, if I'm East Group and my spouse is West Group, we're going to sleep in different rooms and different directions. How can that be feng shui? Well, that is the question we're going to answer today because you cannot base your rooms based on your life gua. You gotta base the rooms on the house's energies. You see, the house energy and your personal energy is two different things. Okay? You gotta find the auspicious directions in that room. But which room is it in the house? So it's gotta base on the house gua system. Therefore, eight mansions is a system of matching the personal life gua to the house's life gua. So this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna find out where you're gonna place your rooms your bedrooms, your study room, or even your kitchen using the house gua systems of eight mansions. Now, of course, um, you have heard of other systems of feng shui such as flying stars, san yuan, or even uh, qi men jun jia. Now, these are valid systems too. You see, in classical feng shui, there are various levels that you actually use. Different needs require different systems. So, don't worry about that for now because we're going to address some of those different systems of feng shui in future programs. So right now, I want you to concentrate on what we call the eight mansion system, which is life gua, house gua, very important factors. So I want you to join me today, take a pen, some note paper so you can take down some notes and also log on to my website, joeyyap.com to download some of the materials that we're going to discuss today. Now in order to do the function of your house, the first step is to determine the house gua. Now, how do we find out the house gua? Remember, in last week's program, you've already learned how to take a direction of the house. The house gua is determined by the sitting direction of the house. Now, of course, you may be wondering, what is the sitting of the house? Well, opposite the facing direction is the sitting of the house. Now, for each and every direction, there is a number. 